dear students now we will discuss on cultivation practices of groundnut under the outline of introduction geographical distribution botany climatic requirements soil improved varieties soil preparation seed seed rate seed treatment and spacing irrigation and nutrient management weed management and plant protection all of all of the first introduction uh, groundnut is one of the most important food and oil seed crop cultivated and consumed in most parts of the world it is widely accepted as an excellent source of nutrition to both human and animals due to its high protein content groundnut is called as the king of oil seeds it is one of the most important food and cash crop of our country while being a valuable source of all the nutrients it is a low priced commodity groundnut is also called as wondernut and poor man's cashew nut it is a low priced commodity but a valuable source of all the nutrients the kernels are consumed either roasted or fried and salted groundnut kernel contain about 47 to 49% of oil and 20% protein groundnut is a good source of all b vitamin except b12 they are a rich source of thiamine riboflavin nicotinic acids and vitamin e the cultivated groundnuts are uh, rich hypogea uh, originated in an area of southern bolivia and northwestern argentina on the eastern slopes of the andes and next is geographical distribution the worldwide groundnut is grown in 26.4 million hectare with a total production of 37.1 million metric tons and an average productivity of 1.4 metric ton per hectare worldwide groundnut is grown over 100 countries developing countries constitute 97% of the global area and 94% of the global production of this crop according to sea report a groundnut crop area in india is at 40.12 lakh hectare in 2018-19 and down from 41.35 lakh hectare in last year similarly production and yield are estimated at 37.70 lakh tons and 931 kg per hectare respectively as against 52.75 lakh tons and 1269 kg per hectare respectively during previous years gujarat tops with 27.87% of total production followed by andhra pradesh 24.90% uh, tamil nadu 14.84% and karnataka 10.95% and the other states like maharashtra rajasthan orissa madhya pradesh uttar pradesh and west bengal are the important groundnut producing states groundnut was grown on 1.3000 hectares during 2018-19 in punjab its production was 2.6000 tons with an average yield of 19.8 quintals per hectare next is botany ground is one of the world's major food legume crops it is the member of family fabaceae rhachis is a perennial or annual legumes groundnut is one of the world's major food legume crop it originated in uh, south america where the genus rhachis is widely distributed rhachis is a perennial or annual legume with three or four leaflets stipulates leaves papillonate flowers tubular hypanthium and uh, subterranean fruit the peg which is an expanded intercellary meristem at the base of the basal ovules is unique to the genus groundnut mainly self pollinated crop occasionally outcrossed by bees and next is the root system tape root with four series of uh, spirally arranged lateral roots with abundant uh, branching and usually heavily supplied with nodules uh, root tip is without epidermis and without root hairs Le- next leaves the leaves are alternate stipulate and quadrifoliate pinnate with two opposite pairs of leaflets alternatively arranged in a 2 by 5 phyllotaxy on main axis and next is flower the flowers are bisexual 
zygomorphic complete and sessile flowers p like enclosed between two bracts one simple subtending a very short peduncle the other bifid uh, subtending the pedicle sessile but appear to be stocked after the growth of tabular hypanthium just before anthesis there are two calyx in the form of lobes one all like opposite the keel and the others broad and four nosed opposite the back of the standard petals are orange yellow cream are rarely white inserted between the calyx lobes and the fused base bases of the anther filaments and next is fruit an indecent fruit pod up to 10 cm long seeds 1 to 5 from less than 1 cm long into 0.5 cm thick to 3.5 cm into 1.5 cm being less than 0.2 g to over 2 g flowering duration is from under 30 days to over 40 days fruit mature 90 to 150 days next climatic requirement it requires a hot climate a well distributed rainfall of at least 50 cm during july august and september is essential for successful cultivation of groundnut under rain fed conditions and soil types a well drained sandy soil overlying a loamy subsoil is considered ideal for the rain fed crop where irrigation facilities are available loamy sand and loamy soil can also be put under groundnut saline alkaline or water logged soils are unsuitable next is improved variety uh, number first j87 this variety lives in 2020 it is recommended for sowing in both spring and creep season it is bunch type variety the kernel of the variety are bold oblong in shape and light pink in color each pod bears 2 to 3 kernel its 100 kernel bead is uh, 79 g it has 69% shelling out turn its average pod yield is 15.3 quintal per acre in spring season and 12.8 quintal per acre in creep season it has oil content of 49% and uh, sucrose content of 5.2% it has 65.7% oilic acid and is suitable for perfectionly it mature in 112 days next variety is tg37 a this variety lives in 2018 it is an early maturing bunch type variety uh, which is suitable for cultivation during spring season it has 65% shelling out and with 100 kernel weight of 42.5 g and each pod weighs 2 to 3 kernels the kernel are spherical in shape and pink in color its average pod yield is 12.3 quintal per acre it has 48.6% of oil content it has higher soluble sugar content 5.8% sugar content and it mature in 101 days and next is sg99 this variety lives in 2004 it is a bunch type variety its average pod yield is approximately 10 quintal per acre and is tolerant to bud necrosis disease the pods are medium in size with slight beak and moderate uh, construction the pods are borne around the main roots which allow easy harvesting of crop with minimum pod losses it has 66% shelling out on 54 g kernel weight and uh, 52% of oil contents the kernels have light brown color it matures in about 123 days next is m522 uh, this variety lives in 1995 it is a semi spreading type variety its yield about 9 quintals per acre of pods the pods are medium bold in size and uh, with mostly two kernels per pod the pods are borne towards the main roots it has 66 Uh, 68% shelling out on 65 g 100 kernel weight and 51% of oil content the kernel have light brown color it mature in about 120 days and next is sg84 and uh, this variety lives in 1986 uh, it is recommended for sowing in spring as well as in creep seasons it is a 
bunch type variety and profused primarily and secondary branches during spring branching season it's mature in 130 days uh, with uh, pods yield of 10 quintals per acre while in the creep season it mature in 120 days with pod yield of 8 quintal per acre the pods are medium in size and with one or two kernels uh, kernels have slight beak and medium concentration uh, constriction the kernels are light brown uh, it has shelling out to turn of uh, 64% with a 100 kernel bit of 49 gram and all oil content of uh, 50% the nutrition value of the straw has been adjusted comparable to that of bursin and cowpea hay and next is agronomic practices all uh, the first soil preparation plow the land twice soon after the previous crop has been removed give a third plowing if necessary for rain fed crop for better infiltration of rain water use disk harrow or cultivators for this cultivation a very deep plowing is not necessary except in a land infested with cans or do grass and next time of sowing uh, sowing should be done from end april to may and next is seed the seed should be viable physically and genetically pure it should be free from pests and disease it should be a good sh shape size color etc according to the a specification of variety seed date and spacing uh, j87 and sg84 and j87 and uh, mg522 uh, both varieties have same spacing 30 cm row to row spacing and 22.5 cm plant to plant spacing uh, and remaining three variety tga37a Uh, SG99 and SG84 have same uh, spacing, 30 cm row to row spacing and 15 cm plant to plant spacing. Uh, but in case of seed rate, J87 require 48 kg kernels per acre. Uh, TGA37 require 32 kg seed rate per acre. Uh, next M522. Uh, this variety has require 38 uh, m522 and sg84 both varieties have same uh, seed rate approximately 38 kg kernels per acre and next is seed treatment treat the selected seed kernels with 1.5 uh, tebiconazole or 5 g theorem per kg of kernels next is irrigation and nutrition management all of the first irrigation two or three irrigations may be necessary depending upon the seasonal rainfall give first irrigation at flowering if the rainfall during the preceding period is not adequate apply one or two more irrigations depending upon time of uh, um, recession of monsoon during the pod formation period for proper development of pods another irrigation a few days before the harvesting may be applied uh, for full recovery of pods from soils next the harvesting and threshing the spring sown crop mature by the end of june to early july crop sown during end april uh, to end may is ready for harvesting toward end of august to early september foliage of spring and creep sown crop remains green at maturity appearance of dark brown to black lines on the inner side of the pods shell and changes of colors of kernel to pink are the indication of maturity of the crop the rain fed crop is normally ready for harvesting toward the beginning of november a reliable indication of maturity is the uniform yellowing of leaves as well as the shedding of older leaves the tractor mounted groundnut digger shaker developed at the punjab agriculture university may be used for quick harvesting for its efficient harvesting the soil should have adequate moisture and the crop should not be over reap leave the harvested crop in small heaps for 2 days 
for curing. After curing, collect the crop at one's place and give two or three shaking and beating daily for two to three days with a tooth rag or tangli to separate pots and leaves from the stock. Collect the pots and leaves into a heap and bin. Tractor operated thresher can be used a place of manual threshing after curing to save labor and time. The pores should be sun dried and four or five days before storage. And next is weed management practices. Two hoeing may be given uh, one about uh, 50 days and other uh, about 30 days after sowing. Uh, in case of uh, weed management, fluchlorelin at the rate of 2 liter per hectare uh, as uh, soil applied as a pre sowing followed by light irrigation. And next is uh, uh, and uh, at the rate of uh, 2 liter per hectare or pandimethrin at the rate of 3.3 liter per hectare applied on third day after sowing through flat fan nozzle uh, with 500 liters of water per hectare flowed by irrigation. After 35 to 40 days, one hand bedding may be given. Image of hyper at the rate of 750 ml per hectare uh, should be applied at the rate of 20 to 30 days after sowing based on weed density as post emergence spray. If no herbicide is applied, two hand hoeing or weeding are given on 20th and 40th day after sowing. And there are some common weeds of groundnut such as Cyanodon, Dactylon, Amanathus, Viridus, Sancras, Celiaris, Euphorbia species, etc. And next is plant protection, insect pest uh, such as white grub, aphids. Hairy caterpillar, tobacco caterpillar, all of us white grub. The important species of white grub which infest groundnut belong to three subfamilies uh, Melanothene, Rotelene, and uh, Dynastene. The genus Holotrachea includes the major species of white grub infecting serious damage of groundnut cultivation in rainy seasons. And in case of aphid, aphids are aphis uh, crassivora, uh, variously known as the groundnut aphids or black legume aphid, is a, a true bug in the family aphid. And in case of hairy caterpillar, uh, hairy caterpillars or caterpillars are the larval stage of members of the order Lepidoptera, the insect order comprising butterfly and moths. As both common names, the application of the word is arbitrary since the larva of saw flies are commonly called caterpillars as well. And as the control measures of insect pest in groundnut. Uh, the, pest, uh, the pest becomes serious when the rainfall is low. Uh, it weakens the plant, plants and by sucking the cell shape, particularly from the growing points. White grub. The insect is serious in some areas only. Uh, the adult beetles emerge from the soil during June July with the first shower of rains. They, con they congregate on the nearby trees such as bear, guava, uh, almonds, etc., and all and feed on their leaves during night. The eggs are laid in the soil and the larva grubs hatching from them eat away the uh, rootlets or root hairs of the groundnut plants. The damaged plants look pale, wilted and ultimately die. Adopt the following integrated approaches for the effective management. Plow the field twice during May, June. It would help in exposing the beetles uh, resting in the soil. Sow the crop early wherever possible. Apply 30 uh, kg furadon per acre in the soil uh, at or before sowing. And that is the hairy caterpillar. Hairy caterpillars, if appearing 
in epidemic from cause serious damage by feeding on the leaves and tender stems when young they feed gregariously the grown up caterpillars migrate from one field to another for management monitor the field regularly collect and destroy the eggs mass and young gregariously feeding larva the grown up caterpillars can be destroyed by crushing them under feet or by picking and putting them into kerosenized water and next is disease collar rot and seed rot and this is disease caused by aspergillus sinicer tick care or cercospora leaf coat it is caused by cercospora personata or cercospora arachidicola and root knot this uh, disease occurs in patches and caused by nematodes uh, meladogyne uh, arenaria and meladogyne javanica and there are some symptoms of this disease such as collar rot plants looks like in black spots in case of ticka disease uh, the leaves suffers from a ticka like structure and next root nodes root node this disease uh, mainly uh, caused by nematodes and next disease uh, control measures all of the all of the first collar rot and seed rot and this disease is caused by aspergillus sinicer and other seeds and soil borne fungi which may cause seed root before germination or the germinating seedling may develop rotting lesion at the collar regions and next one is tick car cercospora leaf spot disease this disease is caused by cercospora personata and cercospora arachidicola disease develop rapidly at temperature ranges of 25 to 30 degree centigrade coupled with high relative humidity control the above disease by adopting the following integrative measures select healthy and unblemishing kernels of seed treat the kernels before sowing with 1.5 g seed wax or tabiconazol and or 5 g of theram and spray the crop with 500 to 70 uh, 750 g per acre salt of 50 wbr vegetable powder uh, vegetable sulfur in 200 to 300 liters of water give 3 or 4 spray at fortnightly intervals starting from the first week of august alternately spray the irrigated crop with bavistin uh, at the rate of 50 to 60 g in 100 liters of water per acre give three spray at fortnightly intervals standing uh, starting when the crop is 40 days old do not grow groundnut repeatedly in the same field and next is root knot this disease occurs in patches and is caused by nematode meladogyne or an area Uh, the affected plants show poor growth and chloritic leaves the root knot become stubby the plants affected early in the season become stunted and bushy disease can be checked by exposing the soil to the sun during uh, may and june to reduce nematodes population practice green manuring wherever possible or add organic manures to the soil and in the end stay home stay safe thank you